Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'm going to review the different types of crochet hooks available and when to use them. The first category of crochet hooks are the metal ones. These generally are made from aluminum or steel. Let's review the parts of a crochet hook. The hook part is sometimes referred to as the head. Underneath is the throat and the shank. Then the place for the fingers is called the grip, while the remainder is called the handle. Aluminum crochet hooks are the most common type of hook you will find. They are readily available and come in a variety of metallic colors. Some aluminum crochet hooks have different heads and throat pieces. You can see in the gold boy one, the head section is rounder, while the pink Susan Bates one has a flatter head. These smaller hooks are usually made of steel. They have a very small head and are used for thinner fibers like crochet thread. You can see how I'm using a small steel crochet hook with size 20 crochet thread. Different parts of the world have a different labeling system for their hooks. As an American using an American brand, our hooks usually have a letter followed by a number followed by a diameter size in millimeters. In some cases, you might only have a size in millimeters on your hook, and sometimes you won't even have that. In case you wanted a conversion tool, this Susan Bates Knit Check works nicely for providing the crochet hook letter size along with the millimeters, as well as a tester in case you aren't sure what hook you have. Let's test this red crochet hook. And by the way, the test only works with non-ergonomic handled hooks. After placing the crochet hook into the correct hole, you can see how this 8 millimeter crochet hook ends up being a letter size L as well. The other test holes do not fit the hook correctly. Here's an interesting situation. While most crochet hook manufacturers try to standardize sizes, you can see how this Susan Bates hook calls their G a 4 millimeter hook, and yet this boy hook is also labeled a G, but it's 4.25 millimeters. Next, we'll talk about wooden and natural hooks. These can be made of materials like bamboo or trees like birchwood or rosewood. These hooks are very lightweight and feel nice and warm in the hand. Even some of the largest hooks weigh much less than their metal counterparts. One of the disadvantages of wooden hooks is they run only so small. This one I have here is probably the smallest natural hook they make. You won't be able to find tiny ones for doily making like you can with steel hooks. Here are the plastic hooks. You'll find the head and throat area of these can either be rounded or flat. They are extremely lightweight and good for taking in areas that prohibit metal objects. You can see how this acrylic hook is large, but also very lightweight. Also, manufacturers can make very large hooks with plastic materials. Larger hooks like this work great when making rugs out of fabric strips, or if you are using five or six strands of yarn held together to make a quick blanket. And now the more ergonomic hooks. Here are polymer clay covered hooks. They are strong and long lasting and can be made either decorative or you can build up the clay around the hook to custom fit your hand. Here is a combination of an aluminum crochet hook for the top half and a wooden crochet hook for the lower half. Now here's an interesting plastic ergonomic hook. Also, if you have a regular crochet hook, you can get handles for them. Insert the hook inside and now your hooks can convert to comfort ones. There are also some interesting hooks like this folded hook set, which is great for traveling. And I like this set of lighted crochet hooks. The light ones work great for using during the evening or for a better view if you are working with a darker yarn. Here is a custom made glass crochet hook, which is unique, decorative, and quite useful. Now we'll move on to Tunisian crochet hooks. These are crochet hooks with a longer body like a knitting needle. Tunisian hooks come in smaller lengths for perhaps a small scarf. The aluminum Tunisian hooks are medium sized for a larger scarf. These extended Tunisian crochet hooks contain a flexible wire at the end, allowing you to hold hundreds of stitches at once for a larger blanket or bedspread. If you find yourself doing a lot of Tunisian crochet, this Denise interchangeable kit is quite useful. Here is a double-ended crochet hook. These hooks are useful for working with Tunisian crochet in the round, as well as using multiple colors. Here is a small sample of Tunisian crochet done in the round using two colors. I'm doing the simple stitch here, and by switching the ends of the hook, I can easily work with two colors in the round. Let's talk about things that look like a crochet hook, but really aren't one. While this has a hook on one end, this item is used primarily in knitting. Sometimes you accidentally drop stitches in knitting, and this hook helps weave the loops back onto the knitting needle. 
These cute little crochet hooks technically aren't meant to be crocheted with either. They are hook markers that list the hook size in millimeters. So if you are working with a blanket, you can remember what hook size you are using. This item looks like half of a Tunisian crochet hook and the other half of a large sewing needle. And while you can crochet with it, it's intended for a technique called locker hooking. The hook part draws up fabric loops and the other part locks them in place. And that's pretty much it. My collection of crochet hooks and some advantages and disadvantages of each. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.